What's going on YouTube? Landon Huffman here back with another video. Today I've got a little treat for you guys. Me and Rich are about to head over and pick up one of my long lost sweethearts. Uh, my old 1991 KLB late model stock car. She is nothing but a bare chassis right now, uh, but we're picking her up. I bought it off of Jason and we're going to bring it home and uh, do a little TLC to it and then take it, have it blasted, powder coated, and she's going to come back to life next year. So I'm really excited for this. Last time I raced this car was 2016 and we won in it and then it has set since then. It's had an updated PRW clip put on it uh, since the time I raced it and now. So uh, we're going to get it in the old van and trailer and then uh, go from there. So thank you guys for being here. Thanks for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. Let's get into it. Alright, here she is. But great job, Rich. You're not wearing the right shirt though. <laughs> Alright, she is locked and loaded. And then I'm gonna go in here and show you guys a, a little surprise. Alright, so here's a fun fact. Um, most of you already know that I'm gonna be driving Boo Carlisle's street stock in the fall brawl at Hickory. Well, uh, my car owner, Jason Smith, he's going to be racing against me, and this is what he's driving. JSR has invested in a street stock machine. Boo, sorry. This, was, this area here has been designated for the double zero. <laughs> the left rear of the double zero? Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> we'll right. this up. See, I have suggested that both of us wear open-faced helmets. I think that would make for good content. And then obviously if we recorded our audio, our radio communication, I think that'd be nice too. There's the, uh, the old High Rock Vodka 75 though. All right, old girl's in the box. Head on back to my shop, unload, and then we've got to load Frankie up, take it up to Hickory because tomorrow is, uh, I don't even remember the name of the show. Do you remember the name of the show? My Dave, dad's show? Dave's Truck Parks. Well, Dave's Truck Parts is the sponsor or the organizer, but anyways, there's a classic car show. Chevy. Yeah, something. Uh oh, there's a classic car show tomorrow at Hickory. My dad's truck parts company is uh, sponsoring it and helping put it on, but we're going to bring Frankie up there. God dang it, Rich. Come on, man. Anyway, we're headed back to the shop and uh, we're going to unload. I'll show you guys the car there and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so uh, just some information on this car since I didn't really talk about it beforehand, but this was my very first late mile stock car that I actually raced with my dad. Uh, it's a 1991 KLB. Rich! <laughs> that man's popular. Uh, yeah, 1991 KLB center section. Same rear, or actually my dad built the rear clip uh, on it in 2010. So um, as far as I know, I didn't really bend it up, but yeah. 91 KLB, it's got a 2018 Marlowe or PRW, Performance Racing Warehouse uh, front snout on it. I'm not sure as far as updates go, what we want to do to it. It does have a big spring uh, clip on it right now. Obviously, Frankie is a coilover car, so not exactly sure what I want to do on that end. Probably leave this, or I could just, uh, if we do updates, I could just get it converted over to coilover. But she needs a lot of work, but I'm up for it. So she will be on the racetrack in 2022, 2023, and I'm pretty excited for it. I'll actually put a couple of pictures up on the screen right here so you guys can see what this car looked like the last time it ran. But uh, the last time I actually drove this car was 2016 at Tri-County. It was the Halloween race and we ended up winning. So the last time this car was on the racetrack in any competitive form or fashion, it was a winner. So uh, she ended, I thought that was gonna be the end of her life, but Obviously, we're bringing it back, so hopefully many more wins in store for, for this car. I gotta think of a name for it. Rich, you're usually pretty good at that, huh? Do you even have a name for your car yet? Earl. Earl, you already told me about that. That's a nod to his grandpa. I gotta think of a name for, for this car, so if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Frankie has stuck and has been a very good name for that race car, so 
If you have any ideas for uh, chassis names, let me know in the comment. Now we're going to get Frankie in the box, take it over to Hickory for the car show tomorrow. Probably just leave the trailer over there. So that's the plan. Now we got to get this thing loaded. So easy here. Make sure we're not going to rip the nose off on these cords. Well, it's really pulled out. Okay. America's most famous short track in all our glory. There's dad's C10. So tomorrow, obviously we've got the Dave's truck parts trailer here and um, dad's little truck, but this place will be filled with classic cars. So I'm gonna try to do a video on that, but we're gonna get Frankie out and display her tomorrow as well. All right, guys, my hair looks like a freaking mess. I've got to get it cut. It is so annoying at its current state, but that's gonna do it for this video. Frankie is, uh, at hickory for the car show tomorrow so i'm pretty excited for that it's gonna be a lot of fun they got a beer garden yes a freaking beer garden food trucks live music a bunch of classic cars a bunch of cool stuff so thank you guys for watching this video i cannot wait to start building and working on my old chassis again i'm looking uh looking forward to actually doing a build all the way through of a race car on this channel so it's gonna be a lot of fun but thank you guys for supporting if you haven't already hit the like button subscribe to the channel and uh, appreciate the support, man. I appreciate you guys uh, helping this channel grow and helping us do what we're trying to do here. So thanks again. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.